Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech, and today I'll be doing, a, like I guess, a quick review of this Seasonic Focus Plus Platinum power supply that I just got. So this is the 850PX model. It's based on the Focus Plus platform, just like all the new Focus series uh, power supplies, even the normal Focus. They're basically the same inside, but with some upgrades to let this one with the PX designation to reach platinum levels at 850 watts. So this is a fully modular modular power supply, unlike the non-focus plus par, non non plus focus power supplies that Seasonic also makes. And this one is the PX, which means it's the platinum, whereas the FX are the normal gold series. And as you can clearly see on the packaging, it also says platinum basically everywhere. And the box is also silvery, kind of like a platinum um, color. So all the specifications and features are on the back. Well, I guess this features only on the back. So you can see high efficiency, um, platinum certified power supply, which means it reaches 92% efficiency at 50% load and other efficiency levels required to reach that platinum level. And it also has a 10 year warranty which I think is really nice because this isn't a power supply that costs a lot by any means because if you look online this is actually one of the cheapest platinum power supply which is highly surprising since usually Seasonic power supplies carry a huge premium over the other models but not this time because this power supply is really a great value and I'll show you guys why too because as you can see not only it is a 10 year warranty power supply it is also one of the smallest 850 watt power supplies that you can get and you can even get a one kilowatt version if you want to although that one is just a gold because i think that to get a one kilowatt power supply this small to exceed platinum ratings it'll be too hard but i wouldn't doubt this thing to be able to put out one kilowatt anyways if you want to it's just the ratings wouldn't wouldn't reach platinum levels if you put one kilowatt through this one i think but yeah anyways this is the 850 watt version and I got this to replace my aging Seasonic KM3 uh, P860 Platinum 860 watt power supply because my CPU just died again. It's the second time it's died so I'm just kind of thinking it might be the power supply so I'm just replacing it just in case and anyways this wasn't too expensive so I thought why not anyway since Seasonic has come out with a new one. Also, it's shorter than my old one, as you can see here, at just 140 millimeters length. So it should be much easier to put it inside my crammed MATX Fantex Evolve case. So we got all the features here, like all the protection features that you would want from a power supply, and also the connectors and stuff also here. And you can also see that this has a single 12 volt rail, so that means that all the 850 watts can be pulled all through the 12 volt rail since this uses a DC to DC conversion which is the newer more modern and better version of making a power supply since that means that the power supply just converts the uh, input voltage from your main power to 12 volt all of it and then it converts that 12 volt to 5 volt and 3.3 volt respectively depending on how much is required of them so you can theoretically just pull 850 watts only from the 12 volt and it'll be fine also, um, yeah, there isn't much else on the packaging except for a sole picture of the power supply itself on this side. So you can already see that it's a quite a small power supply. So, and that's also basically one of my reason why I chose this thing. So yeah, let's take a look. I've actually already opened this one and I've accidentally ripped out the box on one end a little bit because it was really stuck when I first opened it. So I had to pull it, but then it kind of got ripped, as you can see. But anyways, yeah, it's, it's a shame because Seasonic really did a nice packaging on this one, in my opinion. So here it is. It's a black box, not a brown box because, well, fancy Seasonic power supplies. If you don't know, Seasonic has been making power supplies for a really long time, and they're really one of the big key players in the power supply game. Since they supply a bunch of companies with power supplies, just like Corsair used to but I guess now Corsair has moved on with CWT now so you got some accessories inside like this focus plus sticker which I think looks really nice I might put it on my PC on the back or something <laughs> and you got the screws as usual and also some cable tie hoops and also some well 
what do you call these? Um, well, they're not really branded as uh, Velcro, but you know, Velcro ties for cables. And you also have this uh, Seasonic Power Supply user manual in a bunch of different languages, as you can see here. Also, the power cable, very nice, thick power cable. Great to see that. And also, the cable itself in this nice Seasonic sleeve bag. So, let's take a look at the power supply first. And I'll talk about how and why this power supply is so great. So, uh, Seasonic has launched the Focus series. Uh, well, not it's, this isn't really that new actually, but yeah, when they launched this, the reviewers, all like Johnny Guru, Anantek, and Tom's Hardware, all reviewed the Seasonic Focus Plus series and the Focus line. And every one of them shows that this power supply lineup is a very good power supply platform since it has very low uh, voltage ripple. So the voltage doesn't uh, ripple up and down so very slightly because switching power supplies do that and the less ripple they make the better it is for your components and usually the more overclocking headroom you have this has like sub 20 millivolt ripples so that's really good and i think even in some samples it's getting close to like 10 or less millivolts depending on the sample that the reviewer got and you know since it's on the same platform the focus plus platform i would expect that this one would do the same or even better since it's the higher quality platinum rating series and also the fact that this power supply has a really great voltage regulation as well so the voltage output by the power supply is really stable at their um, you know supposed voltage so the 12 volt is exactly at around 12 volt so it doesn't budge up or down depending on how much you load the power supply unlike on cheaper power supplies this has a very good voltage regulation actually it's really close to zero percent so it really doesn't move at all so you could consider this one of the best power supplies currently actually and for the price that this goes up online it's actually quite surprising because i paid for this for about 140 dollars on newegg and you know that's really one of the cheaper platinum power supplies that you can get so i really don't see any other reason why you should get a power supply besides this one from seasonic because this really is the best performing one uh, for that price even the more expensive one isn't necessarily better like the Corsair HX series doesn't have a better voltage ripple or voltage regulation anyways they just have extra features like Corsair Link for example if you want that but I don't think that's important so you just pick this one and anyways the Corsair doesn't fit since as you can see from the housing that this power supply is really really shallow like it's only 140 millimeters long so it's really short and makes it very easy to install into cases especially cramped one like mine's um, my evolve has a really small basement so this will really help in installing it inside and managing the cables also you can see the fan grill is very nice with a very like sleek wire fan grill none of the crappy stamped grills like evga uses i really don't like those because they restrict airflow while this one really doesn't it just lets all the airflow pass easily so means less noise and it also should not run a lot cooler and it also has a long life fluid dynamic bearing fan so it should last quite a while and it anyways it has a 10 year warranty so you could just rma this if it breaks anyways and on the side um, both sides have this like focus plus platinum branding and seasonic branding on the side and like some embossed designs looks pretty nice the finish is all black too so i think that's really nice uh, just like most power supplies these days actually so I guess it doesn't really matter on the front you can see the motherboard connectors on the modular power board also the CPU and PCIe are on here so you can install up to five of those uh, chains and you could also install four of the peripheral uh, chains on this side and all of it are of different connectors so you wouldn't have to worry about accidentally plugging it into the wrong one and frying your motherboard and GPU unlike on the cheaper modular power supplies and on top you have the specifications um, as usual on most power supplies that you've seen before too on the box and on the back there is also this interesting switch which is called hybrid mode labeled hybrid mode basically what it does is if you depress it down like that it'll keep the fan spinning non-stop 
and if you leave it off like that then it'll stop the fan unless it has to i would just leave it on all the time because it doesn't really make any noise at that low speed and it keeps heat from building up inside which is always good for your capacitors and other things inside so for the cables uh, you can well i guess i'll open it So as you can see here, there's a Molex chain with a free Molex and you can also see you get a lot of SATA chains that you can also see on the specs like how many there are, I'm not too bothered to count all of these. But yeah, you get two of these Molex chains, although one of them is just two, so that might be useful if you're not really using a lot of Molex stuff, which I doubt a lot of new builds are actually using. And you also have this FDD2 Molex adapter, which is very nice because I really don't like car supplies that came the FDD connector together with the Molex because no one really used the FDD connector anymore, it just takes up space. So an adapter is a better choice. Now on this cable pack. You can see that this is a 24 pin power cable for a motherboard so it's nicely sleeved black with all black cables as well so you wouldn't be able to see any of it in your build I think that looks really nice um, then all of the other cables are also sle uh, sleeved uh, the same way so it will match each other this is the CPU 8 pin EPS um, connector so you get one of these and also a PCIe chain with two PCIe connectors on the end and also another PCIe chain with two PCIe connectors on the end. Another CPU 8 pin connector. So I'll be using two of these since I have an X99 motherboard. And also another PCIe 6 bus 2 uh, chain with two on the chain. But yeah, that's basically it for the cables and the power supply itself. Um, I think this is a very nice power supply and I wouldn't hesitate to buy this one if you're needing an 850 watt power supply or any of the other ratings the seasonic focus is basically one of the best value and best performing power supplies that you can get out there i don't even understand why would you want to buy other brands anyways unless you want these specific features like corsair link or something like that that's it for this unboxing and review and yeah um, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and please like um, the video if you do and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.